Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, when there was some new information on what's going on with the Jamie Foxx thing. Now, I think we can all agree that Jamie is somewhere in rehab. The extent to how much, that's up for debate. But y'all, we now have an official statement from his people. And this statement is even, it's the weirdest part of all, right? I guess they couldn't, the official statement came out. I guess they couldn't trot Corrine out to try to clear. They couldn't put a phantom Instagram post up. They couldn't have his daughter out there defending her daddy. And no shade, you know, that's her daddy. I would do the same thing. She was doing what she was supposed to be doing. My criticism always was for the management team saying, why are you sending that baby out here on the playing field with trained killers? Like, come on. Well, they've come out and they've issued a response. And you guys, I'm going to get your take on this because this to me is the weirdest thing of all. His rep shut down that it was the shot conspiracy theories. No, what in the world is going on? Jamie Foxx's whole team needs to be fired. I don't know. You know what I honestly think happened? And then we're going to get into this because this actually leaves more questions. I think Kareem freaked out because of what was happening for daddy. I think she was alone. I think she wanted prayers. I think she did what anyone else will be. Please know. I 100% understand why she did that. And if she probably had to do it again, she would do it again. But I blame his team because they've been so sloppy and so odd about this. It makes me wonder, what are they hiding? You literally came out to shut down. Get, listen to this. A spokesperson for Jamie Foxx has shut down an unsubstantiated claim that the actor and comedian was left um, paralyzed and blind by a vaccine, saying it's completely inaccurate. Okay, the funny thing is you said this completely inaccurate. You've never said he's not paralyzed and blind. You're arguing over what caused it. We're worried about, does this man need our prayers or what, right? They said in early April, it was revealed that the Oscar-winning Ray star has been hospitalized for an unspecified medical complication. Following weeks of speculation, his daughter, Kareem Fox, shared in a statement that he was out of the hospital and recuperating, but his health status remained unknown. Now, this is officially from Newsweek. For all y'all getting the comments talking about, she said he was fine. The major newspapers are reporting that his health status remains unknown. Let's not forget that they are actually contacting his daughter for comment, contacting his reps, contacting his management, contacting his agents. They are all saying they're going off record. Let's also not forget that Nick Cannon, who a couple of months ago, what was it, six weeks ago, was like, y'all just talked to Jamie. He's doing good. He's doing this. He's that. He asked for my blessing to take over my show. Uh, Nick Cannon started backpedaling, right? Literally doing the running man backwards. Talking about, well, you know, I haven't really spoken to Jamie. I don't know what's going on. His people, which means his PR agent, reached out to me. I said, okay, I'm always going to be here. I asked the pop family if they wanted me to speak for them. The family, I asked the family if they wanted me to speak for him. The family said no. And all this crazy mess. Y'all listen, let's actually uh, get into this mess. Okay. So, um, Okay, so this is all because um, after TMZ reported the, that Jamie's relatives were spotted visiting him in a Chicago physical rehabilitation facility on May 30th, right? Who is this? Podcast ho host and gossip columnist AJ Benza claimed to know exactly what happened to Jamie, citing as sources somebody in the room. Appearing on Axe Dr. Drew podcast, Benza said Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the jab. He did not want the jab, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it. The blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Now, the claim has been fact-checked by Newsweek, and it was found to be wholly unverified, but the rumor has still gone viral online with a number of reputable Twitter, Twitter users circulating it. A first person for Fox has now spoken out on the matter, telling NBC in an email statement that the claim was completely inaccurate. Again, the fact that they use the words inaccurate, they're saying the, fa the fact that the jab caused it is inaccurate. 
They can't say it's lie. They can't say it's completely false. It's inaccurate. What part is inaccurate? Him being in the rehab, him being paralyzed, him being blind, or the shot? You're willing to go on record for the shot. They said in the days since um, uh, Benza's allegations were shared, Jamie has become a, fi a figurehead in the anti-jab movement. <laughs> Are they serious? Well, the number of conservative commenters using the rumors as apparent evidence of their claims about getting the shot. Turning Point USA co-founder Charlie Clark weighed in on the rumor, tweeting on June 1st, those of us who spoke against the jab were attacked in every imaginable way. I'm infuriated. A decent person like Jamie Foxx fell victim to Big Pharma because of a movie set is still dumb enough to mandate their cash cow. Mm -mm. Anyway, there's more we're not over y'all because again how can they do this in good conscience the fact that they couldn't even come out while the nation was praying for jamie and be like you guys he's fine leave it alone but you're coming out to defend the jab why is that why is that who told y'all to come out why is this even an issue y'all talking about oh my god his family's probably so worried as people you guys are more worried than making sure that these fools and their conspiracies don't get any traction and actually just saying he is fine. But I guess at this point, we can pretty much say he's not fine, but he is recovering, right? While this has not been confirmed, several media outlets have reported that Jamie suffered a stroke on the set of his upcoming movie. Mm. Now look at this little wording. Um, Hollywood's mandatory protocols did not end May 12th according to Variety meaning it is possible that Jamie would have to go get you know like I don't want to get demonetized blankety blank to continue working in film and TV it has not been reported whether he received the blank let him know what kind of blank he may have received okay responding to Kurt's post musician John Rich wrote Jamie Foxx should sue blank that's the maker of the thing. Oh, that's right. Never mind. They have immunity from all damages they've caused. The story is happening all over the country and no one is doing a D thing about it. This is the definition of crimes against humanity. Pray for Jamie. What's more, you know Candace Owens had to get in on this. Candace Owens actually got in on this and discussed the matter in an installment of her euphemous podcast posted on YouTube on Tuesday. And the video titled, What's Going On With Jamie Foxx, Candace suggested there may be some veracity to Benz's claim because nobody in Foxx's family has denied it at the time. Candace said, I would say, just using common sense, that if this was my family and a person went out and told a viral lie that I suffered a blood clot in my brain because of a blankety blank, we would immediately issue a statement. We would condemn the journalist and the family would call them a liar and say it's none of your business. But they seem remarkably hush-hush about this and they're choosing to say nothing, continued Candace. So their silence seems as though they're suggesting there's some veracity to the claim. Now, medical journals have said that while it's extremely rare, some blanks can cause blood clots. By contrast, Yale Medicine suggests that researchers have seen a strong association between blood clots and blank infection. Yale Medicine has reported that blankety blank and blankety blank 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 blanks were associated with a slightly elevated risk of developing blood clots, but blank like those from blank blank and blank blank were not known to have such side effects. The government's blank adverse event reporting system said that about 18 million people that got the blankety blank blank, there were 60 cases of thrombosis with thrombocyphenia syndrome, that's a clotting disorder, uh, and nine people have passed away from it. The blankety blank vaccine is no longer available in the United States, according to the CDC. While Fox's current condition remains publicly unknown, a thank you note was posted on the answer. Okay, you guys, listen. They are so sloppy. It's actually making me mad. I wish somebody that knew what they would do it could go and control its press. So they denied that it was because of the blankety blank, but they're not denying the blood clot, the paralyzation, the paralysis, nothing. They're just denying the cause. Y'all, you know what? Pray for Jamie. He's going to need it. And with, with a team like this, Y'all, it's lucky that he is even here to actually have re rehabilitation because I wouldn't trust them to literally like, like, I wouldn't trust them to mop 
the floor in a bathroom nobody uses. They are just all over the place. Let me know what you think in the comments. What you guys have heard, please be respectful to everybody. We only want um, the best for Jamie. And despite what everybody says, it looks like our first reporting was right. Prayers up to Jamie Foxx and his family. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.